Okay guys, I've got a quick unboxing of an EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti. This is the 2 gigabyte model and it's also super clocked as you can read right there and the little thing right there. Um, so the reason I got this is because I actually sold my two 7950s which you know were my pretty high end graphics cards. And I've been using just an ultra basic like 4 year old bottom of the line graphics card. And um... It only sports one monitor, and it's not even, like, at all possible to play games on it. Like, literally, if you open Minecraft, it says that there's a driver error because the thing is so old. So, I figured I might as well get this as a nice cheap card that I'll keep around for whenever I need to plug up some monitors. And one of the reasons I like this, because if we look on the back here... two dual link DVI connectors. So despite this being a very cheap card, you get two dual link DVIs on it. And what that's going to let me do is if I want to order those cheap monitors like the uh, Cat Leaps, the ones that do 2560 by 1600 or 2560 by 1440, but are very cheap, <clears throat> you need dual link. So I could actually still run two of those off of this card. Of course, I'm not going to be playing games at that resolution with this card. But it would work for, you know, desktop, internet, watching YouTube videos, stuff like that. And that's really all I want it for. So that gave this card a giant plus. So we're just going to pop open this little side tab. Slide it all open. There's nothing else in the box. So on the top here, there's a little packet in which everything is housed. We've got a graphics card user's guide, as well as inside we get a DVD, and you also get a Powered by EVGA case badge. It is 3D, so it's not really a sticker, but it is adhesive, so that's how it attaches. You've got a diagram of the back of the card. This particular one is the card, as opposed to this being the higher end cards. But that tells you how to hook up your monitors, and here's just a little manual. So we'll put that all back in the little pouch. Here we have a dual Molex to 6-pin PCI adapter. And that's because this card does indeed take a 6-pin PCI power. So, And it being a lower-end card, you actually might not have that connector in the system that it might be going in. So they include an adapter. And the last thing in here is a DVI to VGA adapter, which normally is completely useless, but this is kind of a lower end card, so you might have a use for it. But still, any modern monitor should support DVI, so you probably won't need that adapter. We'll pop open this little case here. And this card can only be described as cute, because this thing is tiny. Sorry about that, I accidentally stopped the video instead of zooming. And um, what I was saying is, I'm just zooming out and holding up this card. And as you can see, it's tiny. I mean, I have large hands, but still, come on. It's, it's a tiny card. Uh, my phone's actually right there. So I'm gonna do the pretty much infamous at this point, iPhone size comparison. So that is an iPhone 4S on top of this card. Super tiny. Um, these EVGA cards use the open fan design, which is just kind of a normal style fan blowing downwards. And it kind of exhausts all around. Of course there is some exhaust out the back, but most of the air is kind of just going to come out the sides. And then on the back here we've got our 6-pin PCI power connector where you're going to need to plug in power to use this card. And here's the rear I.O. You've got your two DVI dual links and your mini HDMI. So, um, I don't know which of these is which, but I believe that this one is the one that supports analog and this one does not. So if you're going to use that VGA adapter, I think you have to plug it into this one. And I guess we'll pull off this plastic real quick so I, you can see the card a little bit better. But it's a super tiny card, which apparently perfect, or packs a decent amount of performance. 
you know, given its price and size, of course. But it packs a decent amount of performance into this little package. <clears throat> and we're going to try it out. So thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing of the GeForce GTX 650 Ti 2GB Super Clocked Edition. Um, if you did enjoy it, please remember to click that like button down there at the bottom as it helps me out. Um, also, if you want to stick along for any other videos I make, please click subscribe. Also, leave me a comment just letting me know what you thought of the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.